this is my lucky day. And let's see if it continues. Yes! It actually survived that double kick with some health to spare. Well, now you got the perfect example of how big Skarmory's defense is. It survived a double kick from a Combustion that has an 18 level advantage. But, as for how I encountered that Skarmory, you're probably all wondering that right now. Well, I took a few steps to purge that mandatory phone call that happens whenever I load a save state, and I accidentally stepped on a tall grass tile on Route 113. And on that one tall grass tile, the very first I stepped on, on Route 113, I found this Skarmory. And uh, obviously I was very lucky in finding one, but my luck in actually catching it doesn't look to be quite as good because, well, it, its catch rate isn't anything spectacular. I think it's 60 or something like that. So it might be a rather long moment of, you know, chucking balls before I manage to catch it. But at least, at least I didn't look for it for an hour like I did for Ralph and I'll remind you that Skarmory has a 5% appearance rate on Route 113, which is only one more percent than Routes on Route 102. So, now do you understand just how lucky I was? It wasn't just the first Pokémon I encountered on the route, it was the first Pokémon I encountered on the very first tile of tall grass. I can hardly believe it. Even as I'm saying this, I've been fighting the thing for almost two minutes now, and it's still not staying in. I thought, I thought this might have been it, uh, but uh, it doesn't look like it. And yeah, it's starting to do a number on me. The obviously super effective Peck doesn't help, but it's still doing considerable amounts of damage with Peck. I mean, Skarmory isn't known for its awesome attack stat, but still, it's fairly decent, especially considering that we're still rather early on in the game, so it looks better by comparison. But the big reason why I'm catching one isn't just for the attack, it's because of the awesome defense and the defensive typing and everything, and so this thing is going to be taking a lot of hits for me like a champ, no doubt. Heck, if it can survive that double kick I gave it earlier, uh, it can probably take... Ah, oh, I, I thought... Whatever it shakes for the second time, I think maybe this is going to be it, but I, I don't think it ended up that way. And uh, one thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, in the last few days, I considered after finishing uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, just dropping non-Pokemon LPs, because as you probably noticed, I have less and less time to dedicate to those, and maybe it's not fun for you. Please, please, oh, oh! But as I, but I, as I was saying, maybe it's not fun for you to, you know, just see one video every once in a while for it, it and maybe none might be better than, please, no, yeah! I, I thought it was coming out again. But at least it stayed in this time. Well, I can, I'll continue on that train of thought a bit later on. And, uh, oh wow, they used Feather from Skarmory to make swords and knives. Pretty cool. So, let's see what nature I have for this Skarmory. Let's see. Where is it? Not here. Oh, yeah, here. Relax! Oh, wow! That is a great nature! Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so, oh, forgot to purge that uh, phone call, but anyway, relax nature, plus defense, minus speed, and on top of that, I check its IVs, and they're great all around, except for speed, so what I'm, so what I ended up with is a Skarmory that's great at just about everything, except it's a bit on the slow side. But otherwise, it takes physical hits like a champ, as you just saw. I just took two damage from from that uproar and two damage from the other one. But, babe, wow, this is really impressive. We're talking about uh, pretty close to a level tie here. 
But anyway, as I was trying to say just before I caught that Skarmory, is that, well, I thought about giving up on those side LPs, but then I remembered that most of the parts uh, that my viewers fondly remember come from those LPs. Remember that crazy outburst when I kept shooting the dog in Ken's Labyrinth? Or that attempt to finish a Sonic 3D Blast video on a good note only to get hit at the last second? I, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So, I, obviously I was going to finish Mario 3 no matter what, but I wasn't sure whether, whether I'd actually move on past that, but I decided, oh hell, even if it's just one video every once in a while, I'm sure the people will enjoy it nonetheless. So there, problem solved, I'm gonna continue after Mario 3. Anyway, at the end of the last video, I hinted that I wanted to talk about something that had nothing to do with Pokémon, and you've probably already heard of it by now. I'm talking, of course, about the whole Infinity Ward saga that occurred in the last two weeks or so. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of it, I'm not going to detail everything that's been said about it. Maybe just check it on the internet to see what happened, and there's an ether in that uh, mass of sand there. When it, whenever there's a bump in the sand like that, you should... Okay, doesn't look like, can, like I can avoid that double battle here, but whenever there's a bump in the sand like that, either it's a trainer or it's an item, so you should always check these out whenever you can. So, yeah, what I was about to say was that, well, I think everyone's heard about what happened by now, but it, I think it really helped put into light uh, the business model that Activision has, which is very similar to the one Electronic Arts had in the, the early to mid-2000s, but there's a good reason why Electronic Arts uh, drop that business model eventually because while it's good to make money short term eventually people are gonna see that that your games are bull crap and not creative and they're just going to drop you like a sack of bricks so Activision took over as the Satan of the gaming world and as a result they became really enamored with with franchises that you can exploit every year on every platform. Now you've probably heard about how they dropped Brutal Legend because they uh, they didn't think it was a franchise that could accomplish that. You can't churn out uh, a game like that every year on every platform. So they dropped it like a sack of bricks and who picked that game up? EA! Just to go full circle. And it's not like it's the first time that I've heard of Activision's sleazy business tactics, because a few months ago, Diablo Inc. gamers that had a feature about uh, the CEO of Activision uh, giving a speech to, I don't remember who, but anyway, he said that uh, he wanted to take all the fun out of making video games. Now for you and me, making video games should be a dream job! And those guys are taking that concept and running it over with a bulldozer and raping it and killing it and then raping the dead body and then stomping on it some more. And that is just... that is just loathsome, for lack of a better word. Anyway, I'll probably put a link to that feature in the movie description. And I've been talking to a few people about how, you know, maybe this is the, the event that was needed for people to realize that Activision is just a sack of bullshit, and I've been talking to some people about that, yes, and uh, a lot of us agree that if enough people got informed about what happened, that there might be a boycott at some point, and unlike all those stupid boycotts like Left 4 Dead 2 or Modern Warfare 2 or, God forbid, Sonic 4, especially Sonic 4, this one might actually be worth it! And the irony in this whole thing is that Activision happens to own the developer that takes forever to produce a game. And I'm talking, of course, about Blizzard. And just speaking of boycotts and blizzards, it might be difficult for some people because would you pass over StarCraft 2 and maybe Diablo 3 somewhere down the road? A lot of people, I can imagine, would have difficulty doing that. So that's all I have to say on the matter, really. And if you watch it, if you've actually watched the video those last few minutes, you saw all the abuse that Skarmory took, and it's it's still over half belt. 
and without any sort of level advantage as that. Am I a genius or what?